Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my seventh update for my Panda palette for 2018, which is the Marc Jacobs Style Icon palette in Lolita. It is like storming today, so if you hear thunder and lightning and rain, I'm sorry. I told it to shut up, but it did not listen. So before we jump into this month's video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like Pan That Palette, and don't forget to check out the playlist of all my Pan That Palette videos so far. It'll be right up here in the cards for you guys to check out. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. <sighs> so this is gonna be a quick update because I barely touched my palette. I know. My god, the thunder is actually like really starting. So even though I didn't really make any progress, let's go ahead and take a look at my progress from the past few updates, and then I'll show you what my palette looks like now. And here's the palette now. Yep, pretty much identical from the last update. <laughs> I really don't know what it was. Like, I started off the month of July, like, feeling really, like, pumped. And I really wanted to spend more time with this palette and get a lot more done. I barely reached for it. And I wasn't even reaching for, like, really new palettes. Because I haven't bought, like, a whole lot of palettes this month. I just was reaching more for, like, old favorites. Most notably the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and Subculture, which I'm wearing on my eyes today. I don't know what's really been drawing me towards those two palettes, but those are the ones I've really been reaching for this past month over my Pen That palette. I've been reaching for this light brown transition shade when I've been working with other palettes just so I could actually grab the palette, but I think I've only, I only did one full look of this palette throughout the month, which is, uh, I mean, a little bit discouraging, but I also think this is probably just like my slump. Like this was the halfway month and I feel like I've always said like breaks are okay and everything, but I really do. Ooh, thunder. But I really do want to buckle down and really focus on this palette over the next few weeks. So I'm not going to put any like specific pan goals in if that makes sense what i really want to do is just focus on the palette and my relationship with it so my only goal for this next month for august i want to do one week one palette with my pan that palette i've never done a one week one palette before so it is going to be a bit of a change for me i'm probably just going to use it over the course of a work week five days monday through friday if you guys want me to record that let me know in the comments below because i could make a video out of that if you want to see my looks they're all going to be fairly neutral fairly work appropriate but if you want to hear about that i'll probably talk more about the whole experience in my next update but if you want to see a full video on just the one week one palette with this i'd be more than happy to do so just let me know below and I think that's really going to put me back on track with this palette for the rest of the year. So that was a really short, sweet, to the point update. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.